Good evening and welcome. Tonight in our language lesson series, we're going to be learning Nauruan, which is spoken on the island of Nauru, which I just did a video on. You should check that out. They do talk about the language a little bit, like how it is a palindrome. It's spelled the same front and back, which is really cool. And um, it's a really interesting language. It does have some similarities to some other languages in the South Pacific, um, in particular to the Marshall Islands, and uh, some to Kiribati, but it is a unique language that um, doesn't derive from any other language. It evolved totally on its own. Um, Germany took over Nauru in the late 1800s and in the very early 1900s, I think it was like 1901, they published a German Nauruan dictionary where they tweaked the language and added letters so that it was easier to say in German. And then um, Australia took it over in World War I. And in 1938, the Australians adjusted the language so that it was easier to spell and say in English they added every letter of the English alphabet in it. <laughs> so, um, in my series, I do, you know, I go through the alphabet, but, um, like, there's only about, like, five or six letters that are different from English, so we'll just sail through that real quick, and we'll go through some words and phrases in our ruin. Also, I should say, real quick, just a little disclaimer, <laughs> Um, earlier this evening, I took like a tiny sip of water and swallowed it wrong and coughed for like two hours. And this is like the first time I've actually used my voice since like early this evening. So if I'm a little croaky, I apologize. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. But anyway, let's get started with the alphabet. Just sail right through it. It's pretty simple. If you know English at least. go. So, starting off with the letter A, and just like in English, this A can be pronounced A or A. So, um, you know, that's one of the complicated things with English is that letters can have multiple sounds, and it's kind of confusing, but um, if it's your native language, it makes total sense. <laughs> So, um, um, thankfully, you know, if you speak English, you're like, oh, okay, cool. But if you like know any other languages, your first language, you're like, wait, it has two sounds, but moving on, we have this A. Um, one of the changes that was made to the language in the 1930s was that they got rid of all the accents and made this the only accent. So, um, no matter what, um, it just means that it's different from that, is it? It's not a universal accent, meaning that, like, every letter with this accent has a particular sound. It just means that it sounds different from this letter. So, in this case, um, this letter has an E eh sound. So, um, I kind of compare it to, like, the word head. I was trying to think of um, words that had an E eh sound to it, that had an A. So like bread. Oh, you know what I just thought of? Um, you know what I just thought of? Like a way better example just popped in my head when I said bread. What about said? E eh sound. E. Eh. E. Eh. So this is A ah or A eh, and this is E. Eh. Got it. Moving on, we've got B, which is B. And we have C, which just like in English, makes either a soft S or a hard K. And um, if you haven't seen my language videos, I can't write anything in a straight line or the same size. So things will get bigger and smaller as I go down. So I apologize if that annoys you, but get used to it. 
moving on. D, same as in English, D. E, pretty much like in English, it can be either E or E. Uh. We've got F, F sound, G, G sound, H, H sound. I can be E, I, or I. Um, probably with an I sound, um, because I haven't seen any Narun words where it's an I. It's probably to say, like, English words that aren't native to Naru. Um, you know, how it is. <laughs> um, but yeah. J is just like English, um, which is one of the additions to, um, the language. Anyway moving on. K, just like English, L, just like English, M, just like English, N, just like English, and then we have this. This sound um, is not like in Spanish. This is an ing sound. Ing sound. So um, we'll, um, when we do the numbers next, there's a number with this right in the middle, so you'll see a good example of how it works. But it is an ing sound. Just like sing, ring, bring, ing sound, ing. Um, that pops up in a lot of um, languages that we found going through the series. Almost every language we found has a letter that's pronounced ing, isn't there? Moving on, we've got two O's. We have this one that can be pronounced either O or A. Ah. And think of it like um, the word on how it's an on, not own, you know, but it can also be pronounced like the word own, you know, own or on, like that. Let me check my things out the way. And then we have O with an accent, and this is pronounced uh. And the best example is like the word book. So we don't say book, right? Even though it's a double O, it's an uh sound, so uh. So, o, u, u. Got it. P, same as in English. Q, same as in English, which you can imagine was added on from the um, English speaking Australians. And then, of course, we have our good friend, the letter R, which, if you've seen my other language videos, you know that the letter R in every language is completely different. And in Naruan, it's not an exception. It is very different. So it is a rolled R, but it's a different kind of roll. It's a very light roll. It reminds me of kind of like a purring sound, like a little cat purring sound, but it's very, very brief. So think of a roll that's just on the tip of your tongue. So it's a r, r, r sound. You don't want to accent it too hard, and you don't want to roll it too long. It's a very brief, gentle rolling sound. <laughs> Ours are weird in every language, you guys. It's it's never, it's never normal in any language. It's never consistent. Um, but yeah, r r r, just with the tip of your tongue, not a full on throat roll or back of your. Th like tongue roll just with the tip of your tongue just r sound s is the same in english and t is the same in english sorry um u um is either a uh or u which is pretty much like english and we have this u which is like a um hmm, how do i describe it it's like a um, it's almost like a Y, like a Y sound. Ugh. Um, I can't really think of an example. Because <laughs> it's almost like a, but with a, a Y, like a Y sound. But, moving on. Naruan is difficult to find information about the language because it's not a language that's taught. Only a couple thousand people speak it. <laughs> Only, obviously, Naruan speak it. And it's not taught in the schools in Nauru. Um, they speak English there. Um, so Nauruan is just like picked up locally. Um, so it's it's really hard to find resources on um, 
learning the language online. I literally found two or three. So, uh, like, if you're watching this and you know Naruhun, and I do anything wrong, please correct in the comments. But um, the odds of anyone actually knowing Naruhun and watching this are very slim. But please, 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 if you know it, comment. <laughs> I'd love to hear from you. Moving on, we've got V, which, um, like in English, is a V sound, but it can also have a uh, F, F sound. Um, all depending, just like the other letters that have two sounds um, on the spelling and how they're used in a word. In W, it mainly is a W sound, but it can also have a SH sound, um, de again, depending on how it's used in a word. We have X, which is just like in English, and we have Y, which is not at all like in English. Um, um, I was trying to think of examples of how to do this Y, because in English, we say yeah, right? Like, um, yo-yo, yogurt. It's a hard yeah. Yes, you know. And it's what I would call a soft Y. So, um, the best example I could think of, like, I really racked my brain trying to, like, find a word that had the sound it makes. And all I could really think of is the city of Sarajevo. <laughs> So this sound, um, cause it's described as, um, like a, a J that makes a Y sound, right? But it's not like in Spanish when you say like jalapeno cause it's not a ha sound. Um, so like, um, a yeah, 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 not yeah, yeah yeah sound try it say say in english yeah yeah and then go yeah 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 it's that kind of sound but it also has a second sound it can also be a j sound um not like a z which is next which is pronounced like in english a z j z j z so that's the Narun alphabet. Like I said, pretty simple. It's very, 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 very similar to English and that's on purpose. It's because English baking people created most of it. So again, we have, um, let's erase one by one and go over it again. So we have A or A. We have A, oh, sorry. We have, there we go. That's better, a fresh eraser. We have e, eh, said e eh, e, eh, e. Eh, there we go. Eh. B, sa or ka, da. Put this down carefully. E uh, or e, fa, ga. My short tooth. Ha. E i or e. Eh, J, K, L, M, N, 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 O or A, O or A, O, 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 this P, K. Ugh, this board. Ooh. 
You probably can't tell. Last time I used this pen and I was like, oh, the board got all messy. You couldn't even tell. So you probably can't tell, but it's really smudgy. <laughs> Let me use this. Oof. Sorry if that shakes. I notice sometimes when I'm editing this that the camera wobbles, which is really weird because it's the camera, I'm oh, sorry, the camera <laughs> is actually hooked onto my curtain rod. So, um, I don't know why it would wobble. Like, am I, is, is it bumping my desk that's bumping the wall that's bumping the curtain rod? I don't know. I do not know. This is my little rug. Has a cat on it? It came from Paris. A friend got it for me in Paris. Anyway, let's do some numbers. So, um, I couldn't find, um, a voice pronunciation of the numbers. I found a written out pronunciation. So I do hope I'm pronouncing it right. It was spelled out phonetically. So this is to the best of my ability. Let's list out one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So the first number we have is, um, and then the other thing is that um, I found three different sources for the numbers, and each one spelled almost every number differently. There's a few that are short, like only three letters long, and those were all the same, but. Um, I just kind of had to pick and choose which one made the most sense. <laughs> so, um, I'm like looking at my number one list, trying to pick which one. I guess the one with Q. Sure, let's do the one with Q. It's pronounced Iquin. 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 Two is one of the easy ones. It's Aro. Aro. You hear that R? Aro. Aro. Three is IU, IU, IU. Four is, oops, IUK, IUK, IUK. Five is, let me look at the list. Which one do I want? I guess they used to use um, J's and Y's interchangeably, probably a German thing, and then they, um, you know, changed it. The, the English changed it, so there's like a bunch of different spellings of this, have lots of J's and stuff in it, so. Ayimo, Ayimo, Ayimo. Six is, oh, this is what I was telling you about. Oops, that's supposed to be an O. I'm spelling it out phonetically. That's what. Anyo, Anyo, Anyo. There we go. Anyo. So this letter, remember, is an NG sound. So don't be like me, but it make it out of G. This is Anyo. That's confusing because it looks like the Spanish word año, like exactly, but it's año, año, año. Seven and eight are really weird, and <laughs> literally every source I found had like four different spellings of these words, so I wrote down like, <laughs> I have like ten different sevens and like twelve different eights, so um, let's go, this one's pretty simple. Even though, <laughs> I know it's like, uh, it's a lot of vowels. It's all vowels. Aiyu, aiyu. And then like, I was like, well, how is that different from three? Cause that's aiyu. And this is aiyu, 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 aiyu. 
hear the difference? Like two syllables, three syllables. And to make it even more confusing, eight is Aoyu. Aoyu. Isn't it fun? But nine and ten are super easy. Ready? They're Ado and Ata. I love that in numbers. It seems to happen in every number system where like there'll be a number that's super complicated and hard to say or like very weirdly spelled and then the next number is like super simple. I mean, if you ever just look at the word eight. Anyway. Aikwen. Aikwen. Aro. Aro. Ayu. Ayu. Ayuk, ayuk, ayimo, ayimo, ango, ango, ayu, ayu, aoyu, aoyu, ado, ado, ata, ata. So one more time. Aikwen. Like when? Again, if you speak, not ruin. Just like, find a way to message me. I'll do like an updated video. But anyway. Aro. Aro. Ayu. Ayu. Ayuk. No, that one's Ayu. That's Ayu. 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 That's Ayu. Ayu. Ayuk. Ayuk. Ayimo. Ayimo. Ango. Ango. Excuse me. Ayu. Ayu. Aoyu. Aoyu. Ato, Ato, Ata, Ata. Let's clean. Let's do some phrases to wrap up the video. <laughs> Sorry, the cord is kind of loose. Making a lot of noise there. Okay. Um, so a word you're gonna see a lot is the word is this word I should say. And it says pronounced m, m, m. So it starts with an O, but you barely, barely, barely pronounce it. It's stressed on the second word, so it's m, m, and it means good. So, if someone asked you, how are you, which is, um, well, right did. Well, right did. How are you? You can say, mo, mo. Um, so let's say, good morning. Let me write down here, let's do... Good morning. Good afternoon. And good night. Because they all have good in them, right? So this would be... Mo Yoran. Mo yoran. Mo yoran. Don't forget to roll that R ever so slightly. Mo yoran. Good afternoon would be. Mo yeko. Mo yeko. Mo yeko. And good night. Mo yubo. Mo yubo. Oh, sorry. Mo yubo. Mo yubo. 
Mwah, you bum. Just a basic hello is, um, come over, come over, come over. And then if you want to do like a formal hello, like if, you know, you're being fancy, you would add a mo, come over mo, come over mo. That's a helpful word to know. And then just some helpful yes is just simply eh, eh, and no is ko, ko, ko. Thank you is um, tuba, tuba, and to say thank you very much. You would say Tubakor, 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 Tubakor. So let's close out this video by saying goodbye. Let's put it right here. Goodbye, let's put it up here. Is Sorry about that car while I was writing. Tarawang. Tarawang, 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 Tarawang. I'll end this video because it's running kind of long, but um, I had a lot of fun learning this language because I had to really dig around the internet. And once I'm determined to find something to learn about, I don't stop until I find something interesting about it. So this is what I dug up. And I hope it was interesting. And I hope you learned something. And I hope this was relaxing for you. Certainly was for me. I feel a lot calmer than I was after my coughing adventure after having the tiniest sip of water. I swear it was very small. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic night. Tarawang. Moyupam. Good night.